Hello everybody, my name is Ben Gammon and welcome to Incoherence. Um It's incoherent, there's nothing else to say. She is dead. She is fing dead. Who's dead? Mona Lisa? Yeah, she's kinda old. Old. Why are you naked? Don't be naked. Put some clothes on. Where's to move? Okay, I need to get dressed. That's what I'm saying. Where's your clothes? I'm on top of the world. Ooh, key. I can't grab the key. They get dressed? Is that getting dressed? Now we wait for the call. What call? Are those my schizo meds? Can I take them? Prescribe drugs, I rather smoke. Well, I'd rather take my schizo med so I can be more schizo. This painting calms me down. Oh my lord. You are ah, my phone! Yes, Dr. Calkins, I am on my way. It's locked. Am I locked in for my own safety? What is this room? Are there two different exits to my house, but they lead to the same place? Is this my room? Is this my room? I'm gonna go this way. Where was I supposed to go? I don't like that. I don't like both directions. I'll take my chances with the man. He seems less terrifying than a child. Hey, hey, dude. Oh, 16. Hey, uh, hello. Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might not be your usual practice, but I really needed to talk. Click here to continue. Are you Dr. Calkins? I am glad you decided to do this again. Considering your position in tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Is it the schizo? Is it the schizo? I need to take my schizo meds. Can you tell me once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? I would like to know also. After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her, and it was torture for me. Makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer. At least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent, and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. That's fair. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about nightmares. Can you describe them to me? You can live inside of a hotel forever. At least that's my belief from watching the sweet life of Zack and Cody. In my mind, they lived at that hotel forever. They are very real at times. But usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I have this deep feeling. More like a voice telling me to do something. Schizo meds! What does that voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to kill someone. Schizo meds! I was right! Told you. I need them. Keep up the schizophrenia. To kill? Ooh. Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she is so real. But there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Demons! Demons! Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? It's you. You're my sister. Oh, no, that's not my sister! That's, that's not my sister. It might be my sister. I am so sorry. I I am sorry. My head hurts. Medication isn't helping at all, and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get her out of my head. Ah! Uh, usually sleep helps me. Usually, 
Have you tried staying awake? I, I remember you saying nightmares. Have you tried staying awake for endless hours? Just take like 10 5 hour energies throughout the day. You'll unlock extra time doing that because every 5 hour energy is 5 hours for that day. So if you take 10, you get 50 hours in a day. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days, all right? If there is an emergency, please call me. All right, all right. I'll try to do the medication. Oh, meditation technique. Not medication technique. Medication technique usually works for me. Just take a few dozen pills at a time. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. Okay. Um, I should go to my room. Which one's my room? I'm watching you, old man. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, old man. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Hey. Who are you? I'm just gonna go. Uh. What is that on the table? What is that on my bed? A uh, note. It's a note. Dear Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and, un and an unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our guests, we kindly request that you would please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this ma matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, Management. Okay, okay, whatever. I should put those clothes in the closet. How do those clothes get there if I live alone? Somehow, I am tired. I should lay down. I'm going to lay down and stay awake. Who's knocking? Can't they leave me alone? This door? No, that door. Who is it? I swear to God, if that's my fake sister, that's my actually my sister. Who's knocking? Excuse me. Hello? Where to God? That's not normal. What happened? I missed it. I wasn't looking. What happened? I missed it. I wasn't looking. This is a bright phone light. How am I in a medical hospital? It's locked. I missed it. Do it again. I was scared of the wrong door. Uh, all these doors are locked. Oh, uh, I'm assuming this is the right, correct door. Oh, my meds. Yes, I love drugs. Why did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. But as usual, she has too many problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all this. I like drugs. Am I the drug addict? No. It's the doctors who are wrong. <gasps> Same room. Um. Are there more drugs for me to take? No, there's no more drugs. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's the letter. I found a letter. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what is the point? My sister doesn't give a crap anyways. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. That's not true. That's not true. Boxes. Where's my next letter? Give me letter or give me drugs. Or both. Give me the drugging letters. I love drugs. 
Not the drugs? No. Let her! My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value is broken in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested. Maybe if she can pick up the phone and at least once be curious. All I can do is hope for the best. Well, that's sad. Now what? Is there another letter? And, um... Now what? <gasps> my painting! The calming painting of my lord. Calming painting of my lord. <gasps> Medical. Uh, this blanky old patient present presents for alcohol and cannabis withdrawal history was obtained from the patient chief complaint I want rehab I have been using general history circumstances of admission patient is a single blank year old trip double a woman with bipolar disorder alcohol and cannabis abuse other blank dependents who was admitted admitted in with symptoms of depression including ka a voice is telling her to hurt herself she has done outpatient program and wants to ch change her life this time. Blankety, blankety, blank. Now, what do you got? You should have something for me, right? Nothing here. I should search the rest. I did search the rest. Unless I gotta go in order. Hmm. Now what? Oh, there. Uh, hey, hello! Uh... Don't cry! Every little thing is gonna be alright! Hey, how you doing? Don't scare me! Don't scare me! Oh, okay, cool, you didn't scare me, you just disappeared. That's a little less reassuring than uh, you jumping out to scare me. Oh, uh, the battery died. Now what? Yeah, same. I don't like the dark. What did you say? Do you feel it now? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Do you feel guilty? You selfish prick. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back and end it. Hey. Uh. Sorry. I'll, I'll I'll go back. Sorry. I should check on my sister first. Where's my sister? She's dead in the bathroom. <gasps> sister, no! You're drowning. Sister, I'm stepping on you. I'm sorry, sister. That's a, that's a lot of drugs. It's a lot of drugs. Why is it so foggy in here? Misty? Foggy. Fire. It's a gun. Oh. That's what I'm doing with the gun. Well, that's the game. A little heavy. Not bad though, had some, I missed the jump scare that was in there. Focused on the wrong door. Well, if you want to see that jump scare for yourself, you're going to have to play it for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I, I do like Neven Head, Headingers, I swear I'm saying it wrong every time I say it. I do like his games though, they are really good. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.